fear, forces of darkness, and I want to stop the spreading of the gospel. But Christians, you need to get bold and start spreading the gospel. No administration, no government. This is the United States of America. This is not communist China. You can spread the gospel. We have every right at this school, on this campus, on and off here to spread the gospel. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No one is perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm probably one of the worst of sinners. But Jesus gives grace, which is time to repent. Let letting you know, got love for my God, know that I love him for show. So. Gotta stop it. That is true. They can't, right? I'm not right. No, no, no matter what, I still have my First Amendment right. Exactly. I'm a religion. No matter what they say, I still have a right. I'm glad you keep it up. I gotta keep reading the word, Lord. Hey, you know, people need to know there's a heaven and there's a hell. And Jesus loved you enough to die for you. He loves you, I love you, but you must turn away from sin. You must turn to Jesus. Jesus can deliver you from sin. He can deliver you from hell. He loves you. I love you. But there's only one way to heaven. Jesus Christ. He says he is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way to the, to the Father except through him. He loves you. I'm not here to condemn you. Matter of fact, Jesus says this is condemnation. That light has come to the world, but people reject it. Because they love their evil deeds. And they love darkness. Here's my church. Come to it. Your church? Why aren't you out here preaching? David. You just spread the gospel as well. David, come on. No, I have every right to be here. You don't have to. You I, can't I do know, that. I know, but can no, have but a you can't do it. Afterwards, I'll have a conversation with you. Okay, David. They're trying to stop turning the gospel. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm on my father's business. This is for my father. This isn't for. This isn't for me. David, this is, this is not. This thing. is not your pulpit. This is not your avenue. Okay? This is a public property, and I have my First Amendment right. These people can leave if they want to. If you want to leave, you can leave. You guys, everyone, stay <laughs> around, please. No, but if you want to stay, you have every right to stay. So if you want to stay, stay. I'm here to preach about Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Real Christians will agree with this. Real Christians will enjoy the spreading of the gospel. Real Christians want people to go to heaven. I want people to go to heaven. But you must turn away from your sins. Jesus can deliver you. He can deliver you from any pornography addiction. He can deliver you from any, any spirit of depression. Any spirit of anger. If you need prayer, if you want to accept Christ, come pray with me. I love you. I don't hate you guys. But there is only one way to get to heaven. And I'm going to repeat it again. It is Jesus Christ. You cannot make it to heaven through your sin. If you're struggling with the sin, repent immediately and turn to Jesus. You cannot go to you cannot make it to heaven if you are in any type of sin. Lying, stealing, homosexuality, atheism, non-belief, you won't be able to make it to heaven. But you can turn, you can repent. Nobody was born a sinner. With the evil knowledge that we've learned. Pass him down. But you can learn about Jesus. You can That's learn about right. the truth. And he loves you guys. He loves you guys to tell you the truth. And if you're a Christian, if any one of you guys is Christian, you must spread the gospel about Jesus. You have to spread it. People can try to tell you to stop, but you have your First Amendment right. They cannot tell you to stop. Demons want to tell, want to stop the preaching of the gospel. But you can't let it happen. People are going to mock you. People are going to hate you. And you know what? Jesus promised that. He said, no servant is greater than their master. If they hated me, they're going to hate you too. But it's okay. It's okay. Jesus says, blessed are those who are persecuted for my name's sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. But if you truly love your neighbor as God says to, and you're a Christian, you must spread the gospel. You must spread it. What is giving the neighbor, your neighbor the silent treatment? You've known your best friend for years. Years, and you're not one time have you told him about Jesus. If they, if you die, if they die, and Jesus comes back, and it's judgment day, and they say, well, you were my friend, and you never knew about, and I, you never told me about Jesus. I didn't know you were a Christian. Is that really love? Is silent treatment really love? No. We must spread the gospel. We must preach it. They want to spread everything else these days. They want to spread, because they have the right to. They have the right to under the First Amendment. You can spread homosexuality. You can spread pedophilia. You can spread sin all you want. You can spread unrighteousness. But it's time for Christians to stand up and spread the gospel. 
because it's holy, it's righteous. That's what God wants. You guys can laugh, you guys can mock. I believe that there's people that are listening right now that really, it's inspiring you to step up your faith. It's inspiring you because that's what God wants. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. How much do you love Jesus? Do you even know his commandments? Do you know God's love is conditional? A lot of people say God's love is unconditional. Well then why did God put a condition on his love? He says John 15, 10. If you keep my commandments, then you shall abide in my love. If. God says you have to be obedient if you want to make it to heaven. <laughs> Hebrew 5, 9. Hebrew 5, 9. I'm quoting scripture. Heaven is for those that obey. You know what else Jesus says? Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of the Father. <laughs> so when Jesus says in Mark 16, 15, go and preach the gospel to every creature. If you are not preaching the gospel, spreading the gospel to your friends, I believe that you are on that list where Jesus says, not everyone who claims, who calls me Lord, to enter the kingdom of heaven, but those that actually do the will of the Father. You must do the will of the Father. If you truly believe in God, you're going to do what He says. What do you want to say? It's a way more productivity in a church and in school. You'll get too much controversy going on. I know there's controversy. There will always be controversy. And that's why Christians are scared to preach the gospel. Because of the controversy. They don't want to be labeled as the weird person. They don't want to be labeled as, you know, people are going to say, they're going to hate you. I got called Jesus freak, but it's okay. Why? Because I know where I'm going. And I want everyone to go to heaven. But that's not the, re the reality is, Jesus says, wide is the path that leads to destruction and hell, but narrow is the path that leads to life and few find it. But Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And you must obey him if you want to make it to heaven. You must trust in him. If you're a Christian, I probably, if you are a Christian, and you say you believe in God, where are the works? I'm not saying you're saved by it, what I'm saying is, there should be action. Just because you don't scream hallelujah off your head every day, doesn't mean you're going to go to hell, okay? I'm not saying that, but do you want to be a Christian that barely made it? Or do you want to be a Christian that spread the gospel? Do you want to be a Christian that when you go to heaven, there's other people that are saying, thank you. Thank you for telling me about Jesus. Thank you for not giving me the silent treatment. Thank you for letting me know that I was in danger of hell. Thank you for showing me Jesus. And you know what? Jesus says many are going to reject. Many will. A lot of people here will reject. But I believe that there are a few who will accept Jesus. There are a few people who will accept it. And there's some Christians here that are going to spread the gospel. Do you see what the administration tried to do? They tried to stop my First Amendment right. But I don't blame them. There's evil spirits, principalities here, forces of darkness that want to stop the spreading of the gospel. But Christians, you need to get bold and start spreading the gospel. No administration, no government. This is the United States of America. This is not communist China. You can spread the gospel. You have every right at this school, on this campus, on and off here to spread the gospel. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No one is perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm probably one of the worst of sinners. But Jesus gives grace, which is time to repent. Jesus says, if you don't repent, you shall all likewise perish. There's a lot of people here, and I was like it. My parents took me to church, and I rejected it. You know what? All I can say, God bless you guys. Yes, sir. You guys. Bible study. <laughs> Was it a good Bible study? Yeah.